Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will multiply our equation both sides by 4. So I will write here times 4. So we can write our equation 4x equal to 4 times cube root of 1 plus cube root of 16x. We can write 4x times 4. So I will write 4x times 4 plus 8. Now we have 4x in LHS, 4x in RHS. So let us say 4x is equal to u. Let's write here 4x equal to u. So we will write our equation in u. u equal to 4 times cube root of 1 plus cube root of 4u plus 8. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So I need to write here u cube in LHS and power 3 in RHS. So we will write our equation u cube equal to 4 cube is 64 and cube root will be over with cube. So we can write 64 times 1 plus cube root of 4u plus 8. Now we will multiply 64 with both the terms of the bracket and we can write u cube equal to 64 plus 64 times cube root of 4u plus 8. Now we will split this 64 as 2 times 32. So I can write our equation u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times 2 times cube root of 4u plus 8. Now this 2 we can write cube root of 8 and then we will club these two radicands. So we need to multiply 4u plus 8 with 8 in the cube root. So we will be writing u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times cube root of in cube root we will write 8 times 4u plus 8. Or we can write u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times cube root of 8 times 4 is 32u, 8 times 8 is 64. Now it's substitution time. We will consider radicant equal to v cube as we have cube root. So we will consider v cube equal to radicand so that cube root and cube will be over. So we will be writing our first equation u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times cube root of v cube will give us 32 times v. And from this substitution equation I can write v cube equal to 32u plus 64 or we can write 64 plus 32u. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is our equation number 2. Now we will subtract second equation from first one. So we will write here u cube minus v cube in the LHS plus 64 minus 64 will give us 0. 32 is common. In the bracket, we will write v minus u. Now I will take minus 1 common from RHS bracket. So I can write u cube minus v cube equal to minus 32 times u minus v. 
take all the terms to LHS. We will write u cube minus v cube plus 32 times u minus v equal to 0. Now here we are going to apply difference of two cubes formula. So we will be writing u minus v in one bracket times u square plus v square plus uv in other bracket. Then we have plus 32 times u minus v equal to 0. Now u minus v is overall common. In other bracket, we will write u square plus v square plus u times v plus 32 equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 rule and write either u minus v equal to 0 or u square plus v square plus uv plus 32 equal to 0. Now we will solve both the equations. So from our first equation, we will get u equal to v. From our second equation, u square plus v square plus uv plus 32 equal to 0. I will subtract 32 from both the sides. So we can write u square plus v square plus uv equal to minus 32. Now we are going to multiply both sides by 4. So let us write times 4 and this side also will write times 4. So we can write 4u square plus 4v square plus 4uv in LHS and in RHS this will be equal to minus 128. Now I will split 4v square. We can write 4u square as it is, 4uv term as it is and then we will write 4v square as v square plus 3v square equal to minus 128. Now from first three terms, we can write this is 2u plus v whole square. We can check 2u whole square is 4u square, v whole square is v square, 2 times 2u times v is 4uv plus 3v square equal to minus 128. Now sum of 2 squares, this must be always positive for real values, but RHS is negative. So we are going to get complex solutions from this equation. So we will write here complex solutions. So we will reject this equation. Reject it. So accepted value is u equal to v. Let me write here u equal to v. Now I will write our equation u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times v. Now here we are going to apply v equal to u. So I can write u cube equal to 64 plus 32 times u. Take all the terms to one side. u cube minus 32 u minus 64 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. We will be using rational root theorem and synthetic division method. Let's find out eligible factors of constant 64. We will be writing plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 
8 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1. So we will be writing factors plus minus 1. Now we will take ratio of both. So if I will plug in u equal to 1, will it satisfy our equation? 1 cube is 1 minus 32 times 1 is minus 32 minus 64. No, it is not. If we will plug in u equal to negative 1, will it satisfy minus 1 plus 32 minus 64? Again, it is not. If I will plug in u equal to 2, will it satisfy 8 minus 64 minus 64? No, it is not. u equal to minus 2 minus 8 plus 64 minus 64. Again, it is not satisfying our equation. If I will plug in u equal to minus 4, so we will get minus 4 whole cube minus 64, minus 32 times minus 4 plus 128, and then we have minus 64. So, yes, this is plus 128 minus 128. We will write our base solution for this cubic equation would be u equal to negative 4. Now we can use SDM synthetic division method. Here we will write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So 1 coefficient of u cube, coefficient of u square is missing, we will write 0, coefficient of u minus 32, constant minus 64. We'll put one line over there, leading coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. Base solution with leading coefficient. Minus 4 times 1, minus 4. Addition of these two will give us minus 4. Again we'll multiply with base solution minus 4 with minus 4. So plus 16. Addition of these two will give us minus 16. Minus 4 times minus 16 plus 64. And if we will add these two, we will get 0. So these are coefficients for quadratic equation. We will write the equation u square minus 4u minus 16 equal to 0. Remember our first solution is real, which is our base solution u equal to minus 4. Let's solve this quadratic equation first. u square minus 4u minus 16 equal to 0. u square minus 4u minus 16 equal to 0. So we can write u square minus 4u. We'll take minus 16 to the RHS. So we'll write plus 16. Now I will use completing the square method. So I need to write here plus 4. So in the RHS we will write plus 4. Now LHS will give us one perfect square of u minus 2. RHS is 20. Now we will take square root both sides. We will get u minus 20 equal to plus minus square root of 20. So we can consider square root of 4 times 5, which will be equal to 2 root 5. Now we have to add 2 to both sides. We will get u equal to 2 plus minus 2 square root 5. So we have 3 real solutions. u equal to minus 4, our base solution, and then 2 plus minus 2 square root 5. Now u was our substitution. 4x was u. So I can write here u equal to 4x equal to minus 4 and 2 plus minus 2 square root 5. Now we will divide both sides by 4 to get our answers. We will write here divided by 4. So 4 and 4 from numerator and denominator, it will be over. We will get our solutions x equal to negative 1. This will be over 1, so minus of 1. And here we will write 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. 
so we have three real solutions negative 1 1 plus root 5 over 2 1 minus root 5 over 2 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye